evil people know that they are evil? Evil includes all the most undesirable, despicable, and disgusting qualities a person can have. It also depends on the definition of evil, culturally and morally. The war between good and evil has been there from the moment this earth was created. Hence, the power of evil is beyond the imagination of any living creature on this earth. Evil has been there in thousands of forms and types. The concept of evil is also associated with supernatural powers or creatures such as vampires, witches, werewolves, ghosts, spirits, etc. They are thought to be paradigms of evil. These supernatural creatures possess powers and abilities that defy the scientific explanation and perhaps human understanding. People think that enabling and participating in evil is not evil. Unless you are doing the deed yourself directly, you are fine. All of us carry the potential for evil within us and we often participate without even realizing it. Does a person who does evil know that he is doing evil? For example, a psychopath will not see evil in the pursuit of his private interest even if this implies your suffering. A perverse will find pleasure through his evil actions. The indifferent just doesn't care about you, he is a psychopath without courage. The addict lost control of his mind, so he doesn't think about it too much. It varies on the objective of the evil person. Some evil people can even think they are doing good. Your good can be someone else's evil. For example, some vegetarians would say that meat lovers are evil for eating a product of a murdered animal. A child abuser may see good in giving their child discipline. To conclude, one can be blinded, not know their wrongs, but one can fully grasp their evil as well. Almost everyone wants to do good or to be good. The trouble is, defining good is a personal matter of situational ethics. Thus, one person's determination of the good is often some other person's evil. In all of our actions, we are doing what we think is the right thing to do in that situation. We are wired that way. All of us have the capacity for both good and evil, and the very concepts of good and evil are very much in the eye of the beholder.